Welcome to Advent of Vim 2025, day eight. Today we're going to talk about the global command. And you see you can shortcut it with a G, but it's not one of those G commands we covered earlier. It's something different. But first of all, a big shout out to my YouTube channel members that you can see here on the screen, and also my first GitHub sponsor. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your support. In one of the comments I got to the series, I don't know if it was on Reddit or on YouTube, someone mentioned I should cover Ed. And we will probably do that in the future here. Add is an early ancestor of Vim, and the G command existed even in Add back then. You probably also know grab, and grab was actually named after one of those commands. The G in grab stands for global, then you got RE for regular expression, and then you've got the P for print. Now you know. But the command is much more powerful. Let's see it in action. This file contains a bunch of log statements of Santa's workshop system here. There are also a lot of debug messages we don't care about. So what if we wanted to just delete all the debug statements in the complete file? That's where the G command comes in. Let me show you in action. So we go into command mode, hit G, then a slash, and then we start a pattern. This pattern should be contained in the line we want to work with here. So in this case, we want to delete all the debug messages. So we're going to use debug as this pattern, and then we do another slash. There are a bunch of commands we could use now. For example, let's let's go back to the grab example. Let's say we do a P, and here we got all the debug messages printed out for us. You can also just leave leave out the P statement and it will do the print by default. But we wanted to delete it. So we're gonna use D, which stands for delete, of course. Let's see what happens. All the debug statements vanish from our file. Let's jump back to the top here. This was the part we were looking at before. And you see no debug statements there anymore. So that was a very simple pattern, the debug statement here, the debug word, basically. But we can actually use regular expressions here. So there are also a bunch of empty lines here in the middle of the log statements. Let's say we wanted to get rid of those. Let's go into command mode again, type G slash, and now we're going to use a regular expression. And the most simple regular expression for an empty line is the head symbol and the dollar sign symbol. Now you can already see the matches here because of my settings and let's just delete them also with the D command here. And now we got rid of all the empty lines here. Let's go back to the command and look at it a little bit more in detail. You know what the hat and also the dollar sign do in as a Vim motion regularly in normal mode? Probably yes. It jumps to the beginning of the line or to the end of the line. So that's also where these come from probably. Let's jump back to the top of the file here. By the way, I just reactivated key casting. I did forget about it. So sorry for that. So another use case for an actual regular expression here would be deleting out all the commented lines here. They are commented out with the hash sign. So you might think we could simply use G hash and delete all the lines, but you see it would also match these things here, these batch numbers. So what we're going to do instead here is delete the hash sign here and use a regular expression again, use the head sign to match the beginning of the line and then the hash sign. And now only the commented out lines match and the batch numbers are left intact. So we could use this and delete out all the comments. And now we've got a clean log here. All right, let's open up another file here. Let's go to Santa's inbox. And oh no, poor Santa also has to deal with email nowadays. So he has 74 unread messages here. We can also see there are some of them that are marked as urgent. So in the examples before, we matched lines with a pattern. But what if we wanted to delete all the other messages here? We needed something like a reverse match, right? So all the lines that don't contain urgent should be deleted. So the reverse of the G command is actually the V command. So this time we're going to use V here. Also start the thing with a slash to start the pattern we are searching for. Or in this case, we don't want to match. So we want to match all the lines that don't contain urgent. And then we delete those. Now we got rid of 52 other lines here. And we just got these 13 emails left that are marked as urgent. So let's hope that Santa can manage to deal with those urgent things at least before Christmas Eve. But you can do so much more with this. So let's open up another file here. So this file shows a gift request database. So this database file contains multiple requests here. So each request is basically one line here consisting of the ID, the name of the requester, the actual request and the priority. The priorities are mixed up here. 
So let's say we wanted to move all the high priority items to the top of this list. We can use the G command for that. So let's try this. G, and then we're gonna start the pattern matching here. So high should be enough here. We could also do priority high, but high is a little bit shorter. And then we get the move command. And this takes a line number as the target number of the move command. And I think it's zero based. So if we wanted to move to the top of the file, so to the first line, then we would use a zero, but then we would break our format here. So let's say we wanted to move it to line five here. These are relative line numbers here. Number six is here. So one less is number five. And if we think about that, this is zero based indexing for the for the target here let's use four as the target right i hope i got this right in my head right now <laughs> let's use four and let's hit enter and see what what happens so this worked as intended almost what i didn't account for was that on the bottom of the file there are some statistics here because our pattern matching for high also matched this line here that was probably here somewhere so let's undo what we just did and let's do a priority high as a, as a match, as a pattern that we want to match here. And this should work. At least my math with the line number was correct. So you see at line five, we've got all the high priority things here now. So let's say we didn't care about the format of this file here. And we just wanted to move everything to the bottom of the file, like the low priority of things to the bottom of the file. We could use G again and match for priority low. This time we won't mess up the matching. Uh, and we could move it to the dollar sign, which stands for the last line in the file. And this should put all the low priority items right to the bottom of the file. So the global command is really powerful. You could do really powerful stuff with that. Uh, let's let's look at the help file for for global, and let's yeah let's see. You can see execute the x command. So you can also give it a range, so you could visually select something or give it a manual range to further narrow down which lines match. If you just want to have a certain area in this file to match the global command and do stuff there, and you can use any x command. So we used move, we used print, we used delete. And to get an overview about all the commands you could actually use with the, X, uh, with the global command, there's an X command index. And let's make this the only window. And here you can see there should also be a move, move command in here that we just used. Here you can see more about all kinds of commands you could use with the G command. You can use tag navigation and help, of course, so command a closing square bracket moves you to the other help section here. And then also, this should also work. You can look at what an address actually is. We, we saw the last line of the buffer was the dollar sign here and also all kinds of other stuff in here. So you can do a lot of things. You can also combine it with the norm command. And yeah, I, I already made videos about the G command and also about the norm command. Maybe you want to have a look at those if you want to learn more. So for today, this is all I wanted to share with you. I managed to get through the video without mentioning liking, hyping the video, subscribing to my channel, joining the memberships, maybe sponsoring me on GitHub. I didn't, I didn't mention that. So I just wanted to mention that I didn't mention that in the end this time. If you want to watch more stuff, as I said, I've got other videos covering the G command and also the normal command already on my channel. And also there are the other episodes of Advent of Vim. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Thanks a lot. See you around and take care.